What is quiet quitting? Is quiet quitting real? Quiet quitting from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, September 2022, is an application of work to rule, in which employees work within defined work hours and engage solely in activities within those hours. The philosophy of quiet quitting, despite the name, is not necessarily connected to quitting a job outright, but rather doing exactly what the job requires. Proponents of quiet quitting also refer to it as acting your wage. The term quiet quitting has different shades of meaning depending on the source. While individual contributors might think in terms of otherwise engaged workers setting reasonable boundaries, their employers might see them instead as slackers who are willfully underperforming. Another perspective differentiates quiet quitting from work to rule, positing that the primary objective of quiet quitting is not to disrupt the workplace, but rather to avoid occupational burnout and to pay more attention to one's mental health and personal well-being. Just as the term quiet quitting was created to represent workers deliberately limiting the scope of their contributions to the company, the corresponding term quiet firing has also come into usage to mean employers reducing the scope of a worker's responsibilities to encourage them to quit voluntarily. Gallup said, more than half of US workers are quiet quitting. A new Gallup poll shows nearly 50% of Americans, and probably more, are quiet quitting while on the job. In addition, Gallup said in the second quarter of 2022, the number of engaged workers remained at 32% but the number of disengaged workers increased to 18%, making the ratio of engaged to actively disengaged employees at 1. 8 to 1, the lowest in almost a decade. Key takeaways from the poll found At least half of the US workforce is quiet quitting. The workplace, amid the pandemic, got worse for younger workers. Managers are essential to combating quiet quitting. The percentage of engaged employees under the age of 35 dropped by 6 percentage points from 2019 to 2022. And during the same time, the percentage of actively disengaged employees increased by six points. Younger workers have dropped 10 or more points in the percentage who strongly agree that someone cares about them, someone encourages their development, and they have opportunities to learn and grow. Fully remote and hybrid young workers dropped 12 points in strong agreement that someone encourages their development. Disturbingly, less than 4 in 10 young remote or hybrid employees clearly know what is expected of them at work. Many quiet quitters fit Gallup's definition of being not engaged at work, people who do the minimum required and are psychologically detached from their job. This describes half of the US workforce. The workplace has gotten worse for younger employees. Gallup finds a decline in engagement and employer satisfaction among remote Gen Z and younger millennials, those below age 35. Gallup's findings are based on a random sample of 15,091 full and part-time US employees aged 18 and over, surveyed in June of 2022.